We all know triathlon is expensive. Of course it is. It's three sports, they all need their own equipment, plus race entry fees and travel. It adds up. You could spend 10,000 pounds on your first triathlon bike, but assume you don't have that kind of money lying around and you want to do a triathlon, how much do you actually have to spend? Well, Mark and I took up that challenge and we did a triathlon as cheaply as we could. So, James and I have entered the Cotswold Evening Triathlon and in the interest of consumer advice and I guess to see how expensive triathlon really is for a beginner, we have entered this as if we're beginners ourselves and we literally have to find everything we need to complete this event from scratch and the budget is basically just to do it as cheaply as possible. Yep, so we've really blown 30 pounds of our budget entering the race, ouch. Well. That's not really a dig at race organizers. Triathlons are complex to organize, and we're glad they do. Uh, it's actually pretty cheap compared to some of the other triathlons out there. Yeah, so now we're committed. I guess the next step is to beg, borrow, and steal. I mean, well, just, just beg and borrow. Don't steal, obviously. Just beg and borrow everything and anything you need to get your way through that first triathlon before potentially you fork out some of your own hard-earned cash on a sport that you, I guess, may not like. Hopefully that's not the case. Yeah. Uh, Mark and I have one or two hundred contacts in triathlon and we could beg and borrow a pretty good array of stuff. And we, we also to. have pretty well stocked garages and I guess we could just delve into those as well. But for the purpose of this video and in the interest of consumer advice, we're going to pretend we don't have any friends or relatives to borrow from or storage to raid. Exactly. So we have gone out and bought everything we need to make it round our first triathlon as cheaply as possible but also have fun, and that is important because obviously you could just delve into the back of your garage, pull out a rusty old bike or the bottom of a dumpster and pull out a bike. And yeah, yeah, sure, you might make it round your first triathlon, but chances are it won't be that fun. So the goal is to do this triathlon as cheaply as possible, but as enjoyable as possible. And as fast as possible. Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't need a disc wheel, for instance. No, but you do need a carbon fiber bike. No, you know, you don't. What? Aero helmet though, you do need that. N also really not necessary, mate. Oh. How are we going to enjoy it then? We just, well, it's triathlon. It's fun, oh, isn't it? Okay. So, we compiled the shopping list and dived into the depths of the internet, looking for deals and specials. So, here we have it, we've got all our kit, we're ready to go. Let's run through what we've got and how much it will cost. Now, I'll leave the bike till last, start with the kit, my wetsuit. Now, I managed to pick this secondhand beauty up for 17 pounds. A uh, little bit worried, not going to lie, there's some pretty big holes on it. Um, I mean, did this previous owner get bitten by a shark or something? I, mean? <laughs> I can see why it was 17 pounds. Let's hope it stays on you for the whole swim and actually gets you to T1. I, as you know my feelings on cold water, uh, was not prepared to go for a wetsuit full of holes and I splashed out on this brand new wetsuit from Decathlon, the Aptonia, which was a whole 99 quid and uh, it was quite a big portion of my budget, but I'm pretty proud of it, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Uh, next thing, <laughs> shoes. Now, this is a tough one. We, we need to get something that obviously is cheap, but also usable. So we've actually gone brand new for our shoes and we've both done the same thing here. So bike shoes, pick these beauties up for 27 pounds, I believe. Um, I see you chose the yellow ones. Yeah, I thought I'd go with a bit of a theme. Uh, I see you chose the uh, blinging ones. Well, I don't think I had a choice. You told me these are what I'm using, but 
Uh, I quite like them. They're good. Um, and then the running shoes, um, the good old Solomenzies off Amazon yeah. for twenty nine pounds. Yeah, and mine were uh, only sixteen quid, uh, and they're called the Keep Running shoes, which hopefully, hopefully. I can do wearing them. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> I haven't uh, run them Next yet. up, then uh, helmet. Managed to get this one on eBay for five pounds, and I have inspected it for any cracks, and it does seem safe. Yeah, bargain. It hasn't fallen Five. apart. Five quid. I went for a brand new helmet, which was only 11 quid, this Dunlop one from Decathlon, and it comes with no last, unlike yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> next one, goggles. Now, oh, we yes. actually bought these together, a bit of a team effort here. 15 pounds. Two for, for the, the price of one. Yeah. Um, and what's really cool, we didn't know this was a feature on this, it's got a little press button. So they split apart, which might come in handy for triathlon. Let's, yeah. not, let's not overuse that button. Yeah, let's, let's hope it doesn't do that in the middle of the race. Not handy. Um, try to. So these came in. Well, James, how much did we get these for again? Uh, well, they we splashed out on these a little bit, as you can see. Uh, they were sixteen pounds each. Whoa! Yeah. Are you sure they were try so, suits? Ah, uh, that's so what it said on Amazon. It's like a wrestling suit. Well, do you think I can I? Well, I've actually brought a backup because I was unsure on this. Um, so I've got some speedos as well. And they're padded. Uh, Actual triathlon speedos. Proper triathlon speedos. Well, go on, go on. sure. Yeah, I think you can pull those off, Mark. Yeah. And we could always send that back for a refund. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. Yeah, save some money. Uh, race belts. So I've really gone cheap here. Just uh -huh. uh, some elastic from home. I found this line around from Orca, and it's uh, the real deal. And it matches everything else. That's Look at that. That's probably the best bit of kit you've actually uh, got. Exactly, there. yeah. I mean, sometimes you do find a score line around. So, Should we move on to the big ticket item, items then? Indeed, the bikes. So, I trawled Amazon, had a few bidding wars, uh, and eventually I landed this, the Scott Speedster 50, for 119 pounds. Bonus, That's yeah, really I was pretty pleased with it. Uh, everything's working on it. Bit of a buckle in the rear wheel, which I wasn't able to fix. Uh, Bit of jumping gears, which I was able to fix. Uh, and then I discovered just this morning that uh, the seat post is properly stuck in there. So I'll be riding it like a proper beginner with the seat too low, unfortunately. I will work on getting that loose for the next time we use these bikes, but uh, I couldn't do it today. So it's uh, what well, you get on eBay. Well, I didn't actually. I decided to go the opposite way and I decided to get a brand new bike. Uh, brand spanking new, look at on, that thing. What I thought, I'd get the cheapest brand new bike I could. So I went on Amazon, 256 pounds, I believe. Um, the Euro bike. Um, turns out uh, it's <laughs> probably worse than your bike, James. It weighs a whopping 15 kilograms. You see that carbon decal? It's not carbon at all. Steel wheels. Um, carbon so, number one wheels. Yeah, it's yeah. got kicks down there. It comes with its own kickstand. Disc brakes, though. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be you're going to be flying through those corners. Mm. Let's hope they work. <laughs> uh, so, what's important here is actually how much they weigh. So, mine weighs 10.3 kgs, which is pretty respectable for a uh, entry level bike. Yours weighs 15 kilograms. Yeah, over 15 kilograms for a road bike. I mean, brand new though. So. At least you didn't have to worry about any other bits working. Thank goodness it's a flat course today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, well, all in all, how much did you spend then? So my total came to three hundred and twenty-six pounds and fifty cents for my first triathlon, inclu including the race entry fee. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Mine was three hundred and seventy-three pounds fifty. So you've beaten me, not only with the bike, because that is definitely better <laughs> than mine, but also on the budget. So I guess all that's left now is to see who wins in the race. And actually, there's more people turning up, so we best get racking. Yeah, let's, on, go. let's go. Let's, let's get, these, get these awesome tri suits on. <laughs> <laughs>
crazy then. Oh, here he comes. So much water in my wits. <laughs> Okay, but this bike is like riding through tree corn. Definitely think James has got the right idea. So Mark, I think we can conclusively say that you can do and enjoy a triathlon for less than 350 pounds. I think we nailed it. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed that. Uh, there are a few things I would upgrade. Uh, we can run through uh, the race and what I enjoyed and didn't enjoy so much of my equipment. Uh, there were definitely some things that I would like to improve with the, the next uh, 350 pounds. Wetsuit page. perhaps? Yeah, my wetsuit, even though it was brand new, out of the box, it was not great. Uh, you kind of filled with water, my arms got heavier and heavier. I uh, just, with cheap wetsuits, it's hard to get the fit right, and my fit was, was yeah. right. Whereas mine actually was fantastic. Yeah, so there's a lesson for you. I, I Buy mean, a cheap wetsuit that fits you on eBay rather than a brand new one. Just, just quickly say, I might spend an extra 15, 20 quid and get one with less <laughs> holes in, but it was good. Or buy, spend five quid on some glue. Um, goggles fogged up a lot for me. I, I, my goggles oh, were fine. I mean, they hurt the bridge of my nose a little bit and I had some panda eyes when I came up, but they didn't fog up or anything. Um, my bike, really not good. Uh, I think you were <laughs> on to a winner getting that bike. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I am utilizing the uh, kickstand right now. Uh, really flexing brilliant. that one. Yeah, I mean, maybe, so, I, maybe I'll get a kickstand and put it on my bike. Uh, maybe I'll get it on my TT bike. Um, if I was to upgrade anything noticeably as well with the bike, it would be the bike shoes. Every time I pulled up, I literally could feel the sole yeah, moving. <laughs> but you know what? Like, we got rounds. This yeah. is good. I mean, uh, my bike, I'm actually really happy with it. I think I, I would definitely put some aero bars on. And the yeah. first thing, you can get some cheap ones. That would be the first thing. Um, I do need to figure out how you loosen a locked seat post because it was a few centimeters too low and that definitely hurt my legs, not only on the bike, but on the run too. But a bit of pain makes it even more fun. So I'm not gonna say that took too much away of, from the enjoyment of my day. Uh, the run shoes, uh, I mean, they got me around it and I, I don't have blisters. Uh, they'll, they'll do, I would probably upgrade them if I had yeah, some Yeah, probably some to money. the Solomenzies because uh, I won. Just saying. Oh, yeah, mate, must have been the shoes. Must have been the yeah. shoes. Well, yeah, guys, look, you can do a triathlon on a budget and, as James has said, for under 350 quid, um, which and is enjoy absolutely it. amazing. And yeah. really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. We've yeah. had a fantastic time today. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing us 
go through this and inspired you. Um, and yeah, if you've done a triathlon on a budget before, get involved in the comment section down below. Any ideas you have, also drop them in the comment section down below. Give this video a like, and don't forget to give us a subscribe down below. So what's our budget to upgrade for the next triathlon? Should we go for the 10,000? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. going for that. Oh, I was yeah, thinking good. more like 200 bucks, oh, yeah, but hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going to give me 10,000 to upgrade yeah, yeah, my bike? Mate, yeah, no. oh, I think I can do a few more upgrades. It's coming from your salary, but... <laughs>